Hey everyone, my name is Nick Williams. I'm a paramedic and water rescue technician here with Charlotte Island Water Rescue Squad. And today we're gonna to give you a walkthrough of Water Rescue 136 and our water rescue team assets. Water Rescue 136 is a year 2000 F550 Super Duty. It's our primary response unit for any water rescue call. It features a walk-in, a number of storage compartments, and it is our primary towing asset for our water rescue boat package. So the walk-in for Water Rescue 136 is designed so while somebody is up front driving, technicians can dress out appropriately for the call we're going to. So we have a number of ice suits, we have a number of dry suits which keeps water off of our bodies, we have helmets, we have other pieces of equipment back here that we will put on based on the call that we're going to. So on Water Rescue 136 we carry a modest amount of technical rescue equipment. We carry lots of different lengths of ropes, Stokes basket, things to move equipment to people from point A to point B. We have a pretty large amount of personal protective equipment such as uh, life vests to give to other responders or victims who may be in the water. The unit also features a large generator to make sure we can get adequate power and lighting no matter where we're working and it has a dive support package as well ranging from extra air bottles for divers to extra equipment such as masks, fins, and underwater communication. The boat package that Water Rescue 136 tows features our defender boat, a kayak, and a raft. The raft is generally used for more shallow water operations. We can tether various ropes to it in order to do a controlled ferry out to a victim to then bring them in. The primary boat that Cars Water Rescue will use is this rigid hull inflatable boat or boat one. Uh, we will use this in swift moving water or deeper flood conditions. The motor is a shrouded prop meaning that it poses much less risk of injury to other people in the water. So there's two different levels of water rescuers that we have here at CARS. We have water rescue responders, and what the water rescue responders primarily do is they kind of stand over here on the shoreline. So where I'm positioned now, um, we may have technicians out in the moving water. The water rescue responders are here to provide what we call shore support. So they may string ropes, they may uh, provide lighting, they may even help pull victims out of the water or launch a boat, but the water rescue responder generally does not operate in the water itself. Now in the water, like what's behind me, this moving water is where you're gonna see cars, water rescue technicians operate. The water rescue technicians go to a week long intensive training academy at the Whitewater Center in North Carolina. At this center, we will train to use technical rope systems, rafts, boats, whatever we need to to get out to a victim, including swimming. The Whitewater Center is particularly premier because it allows us to practice in class four and five rapids, the same rapids that Olympic kayakers will train in. So because we're used to swimming and training in that environment, when we get off the truck, we're ready to go.